guys and girls welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well guys okay i may have gone a little bit overboard at primark when i say overboard like can you see everything sticking out of the bag i am um, got well and truly into it this month um, <laughs> there's a lot of unusual stuff in there that i wouldn't normally have gone for you're gonna see what i mean i picked up some denim which I don't normally do denim. Some of the bits I've also picked up in a couple of sizes because as we're in the gym now, my thighs are getting a bit wider. Yes, <laughs> it's not what we want. We want stuff to get smaller, but my thighs are getting wider. And there's a few outfits here for holiday that I've seen and I'm like, I need that. And if I didn't get it in both sizes and say one didn't fit and I had to go back for the other, it probably would have been sold out. So yes, there is a lot of holiday stuff. There is a lot of maybe unnecessary stuff to be perfectly honest but there's also a few bits that aren't my normal style we're gonna try and change it up and see how that goes so um yes as you can see i'm in a good old primark dress i think this was was it last month i love these little ones as i say nice and flowy very cute and feminine but we just need the weather to warm up a bit don't we because i don't know about you guys our weather here we have had thunderstorms and rain for the past two days like a mini storm i don't even know what's happening but I'm not going to ribbit rabbit because this is going to be a long one, I feel. So um, please make sure you're comfortable and let's get in with the monthly Primark, Primark? Primark haul for May, the birthday month edition. <laughs> right, so the first thing that I am going to kick off with, guys, headphones. Now, I have wireless, like, AirPod dupes. Um, do you think I can find the charger for it? No no i can't so um, that's not gone to plan my marshall headphones again wireless have just completely died on me and then the tiktok ones that i got which were like these i kind of broke i spun the arm around a bit too much and then it just and it wouldn't fit to my head so i picked another pair up from primark they do these in pink green and lilac as well that i've seen they are 15 pounds so i think they're about three pound more than tiktok i paid roughly 12 pound but i thought you know what i need these for the gym um me and dan we go to the gym together and we normally do joint workouts however there's a few days of the week when he wants to go boxing and i've changed my nails guys but look we're still decapitated so i can't do any boxing yet so when he goes off on boxing i go to my mats and do like little core workouts and i needed headphones so yes i just picked up the wireless headphones 15 quid and we'll see how these ones goes i can't let these ones die i need to remember to charge these and keep the charger to a place where i know it's going to be because yeah my marshals though i've had for about i want to say three four years and they was great but they won't i put it into charge and then it just won't register that it was charging so i think i just stopped charging them and now i can't find the charger and then my airpods airpod dupes good old amazon um i don't know where the charger is for them so i thought you know what i actually quite prefer the over the ear ones as well i don't know about you let me know down below guys are you an over the ear earphone or a little in ear? but yeah 15 quid and as i say there was plenty of other colors if you wanted something a bit more jazzy i mean i could have got the pink i could have got the lilac and i could have got the green because they would have gone with my gym outfits but you know what trying to be a responsible adult here and also my hair would still stain them so i need something that uh can kind of hide when the blue is still staining everything of course i've got some flippy flops however i was a little bit oh god guys it's already happening you know we're gonna get knocked with this bag Mhm. Mm i don't know why these are so much more expensive i got these in the beach range i picked them up in a size four size four a size small which is a three to four and they were three pound fifty i mean they do feel a lot better quality than the one pound ones and they do actually have a decent little grip salt but i just thought these were really nice to put away for holiday yes i know i'm not going away until september but primark is well ahead of the season and if you don't get it when you see it now by the time summer comes they will have autumn stuff out because i've always one season ahead i do apologize guys i've got a new pair of lashes on and i feel like i have a hair attached to it you know when you can just feel it and i'm like is it still there I don't know we're just gonna have to wing it but i picked these up and i thought you know what they are quite sturdy however i do have a suitcase that well there's two suitcases that i need to go through um and we need to actually decide what shannon's taking and what shannon's getting rid of and taking to charity shop but these i thought were a good investment and i also think these would be quite nice just for like day-to-day -day use here i might actually not put you in the suitcase i might have you as a normal flip-flop pair because the only flip-flops that i have really for like day-to-day -day wear when i'm not on holiday are my birkenstocks 
So actually, I'm going to keep these. These, you're going to be out, okay? You're going to be out on that. Now, the first denim piece I picked up, I picked these up in a size 10 and 12 because, as we all know, with Primark and denim, it's a bit hit and miss. But, as I say, they are both the exact same, so there's no point showing you both sizes, as I say. They're both the same. Let's pop that one down there. So these are the paper bag mom jeans now if i remember correctly i think mum picked me up a pair of mom jeans in a challenge and they wouldn't go around my hips so that's why i've got two styles and i normally go for skinny jeans i will never grow out of my 12 13 year old phase of skinny jeans is life um, but i need to start experimenting a little and i thought maybe having a pair that was a bit more slouch we could see so i picked them up in a size 10 and 12 and these were 18 pounds so the thing that i really like to start off with was the buckle and can you see that at the back, it looks, now I say looks because looks can be deceiving. It looks like it's paper bag, like it's stretchy. So I'm like, okay. I really liked the style of the pockets at the front. As I say, I'm doing a pig's ear showing you this. You'll see on the try on clip, whichever way I put it on. If I can't try this on and none of them fit, you get the wah, wah, wah text at the bottom. But if not, there will be a try on clip. And they come down. So at the back, you have pockets that you've got to cut and then your main pockets are at the front but i quite liked how they weren't like side pockets they was actual front pockets and then they come down they're quite a wide leg and then they're a turn up so i thought you know what we'll give them a go however i'm not really great at these buckles i'm gonna have to see how to do them but we'll work it out because i can always put another belt on it but yeah i thought we'd give them a go like a nice slouchy pair of jeans maybe like a crop top trying to be a bit cooler you know because i feel like i feel i have a very basic style let me know down below what you think of my style even though i'm like one minute dresses then jeans like i don't really venture out from what i know i love these types of dresses so my whole wardrobe is pretty much these dresses i like a particular style of pair of jeans i stick with that style of jeans um cycling shorts cycling shorts for days but i don't really tend to venture out and that's what this one is we're all venturing out. Now, the next few things I got, my darlings, was from the Paula... Oh, I can never say this. Paula Echevarria range. Now, I'm not going to lie. This is pricey, okay? Pricey. And I don't... Just because it's her name against it. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are some lovely bits because I have got some more bits in here from the collection. But I saw this and I thought, perfect for holiday. So, I've picked... What have I got? I got the skirt in a size small, but I got the top in a small and a medium. So let's just pop the medium down there. So the top, first of all, was size small, which is 10 to 12. And this was £17. Now, I saw this on the mannequin and I was like, oh, because they made it almost look like a dress. But I think you can get a dress of this version now. So it is very see-through perfect if you just have like a black bikini top or a black bralette but i really like this fringed hem and then the skirt was also 17 pounds so it's 34 pounds for a cobbled that's expensive for primark guys i can't lie but the skirt is looking like it's elasticated and again you have the little frill so i just thought this would look really nice you know what probably even with them plain black sandals what are we thinking? As I say, you'll see more in the trial clip. £34 for a cold, it is expensive. I can't lie, guys. <laughs> My budget doesn't normally go over like £20 for a cold. And if it does, it's got to be in the sour. It's got to be something that really catches my eye. But I just saw that and I thought... Again, with my holiday wardrobe, I stick to the same stuff. If you've seen me in Dominican and Jamaica, I tend to stick with the same vibes. Like... Please say shorts with a few crop tops for some nights. Normally a few short dresses like this. Maybe a maxi dress and chuck a jumpsuit in there. But I thought, I don't really have two pieces like this. Because this I think is a very, very smart two piece. And again, you can wear them on their own. You could wear this in the winter with tight knee high boots and like a white cream jumper. <gasps> oh, I think that would look lovely. And this I could wear with, do you remember the black or nude trousers that I got a few months back with the gold buttons on? That I think you could pair with that lovely so yeah we will see how it goes in the try on clip but i do have quite high hopes for that she says that now before it goes on her body <laughs> but we will see guys right this is where i say like i'm trying stuff so let's not judge okay now 
This little top was again from the Paula E range. This was eight pound and I got it in a size small. Now it is quite sheer. I don't know if it's showing on camera, but it's see-through. And it's not really my style. This reminds me of like my workshops I have to wear. So I picked this up and as I say, size small. But what I got this for was to layer under a play suit. So this was just from the normal denim range, a denim play suit. If you remember from last year, I've got like the denim boiler suit jumpsuits. Boiler suit jumpsuits? Boiler suit play suits where you have the thick buttons. Whereas this one... It's kind of slightly different. It's almost a dungaree vibe play suit. So I thought with this, you've got your pockets on the front. This was £18 and I picked it up in a size 10. These were single sizes. And I thought this with the top underneath could be a bit of a vibe. She says. I could actually put this on and look like I'm going to a meat market. <laughs> so we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But yeah, that was how the mannequin had it. And I was kind of like, oh. I actually quite like that. Like, that could be a bit of me. This is where she goes. Oh, it's so very wrong. <laughs> oh, so very wrong. Right. Let's have a little... Oh! Okay, don't shout because I actually got two of them. Guys, the hats are banging in Primark at the moment. Like, legit, I was in my element. Let's pop it back out because the shape's gone a bit deformed. This was £4, okay? And you know... I love a hat for holiday. I actually feel like I'm wearing a sombrero and I'm back in Mexico. Ole. Ole. Yes, I... Guys, what are we thinking? Four quid. It is this gorgeous geometric... It's actually navy blue. I thought it was black at the start. It's navy blue and white. Almost like chevrons. But it's a floppy hat. So I can like... Oh, actually, no. It's quite rigid. You might be able to bend the sides down a little. Trust Dan to come in at the time when I look like a sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> his reaction says it all but for four quid i thought this was really nice you need the is it the black glasses black glasses white suit <gasps> Bob. i could wear this with me new uh two-piece guys but yeah you know me i'm a sucker for a hat so i saw this for four quid and you know what i haven't bought a hat for a while so every summer i do like a hat i've got my straw hats up there but i haven't got anything of that style or print just throwing this out there, how long have we been together? I know what he's going to say. You know exactly what I'm going to say. When have you ever worn a hat when we've been out together? <laughs> I, I wear my caps and that's my winter to, hats. to the gym and when it's cold, I'll give you that. <laughs> but these face and bones, I haven't, you never wear them. No, see, this is the thing. That's what I was saying. Like, I feel I'm very basic with my style. What? No, but like, I like these dresses, so I'll get this dress in every style. If yeah. I find a pair of jeans I like, I stick with that. If I find a top I like, I'm trying to branch out. Like the, Dan hasn't seen the stuff that I've got, by the way. He will be um, seeing the try-on clip. So we'll Where's it going to go? What? The stuff you've bought. Well, I did de I did a big declutter, cut guys. You know, I got rid of all them bags. Okay. <laughs> but I'm trying to like be a bit more creative with my style. Okay. So that means more hats. And that means also styling this. So this dress... I would so style with black cowboy boots and a black fedora. Okay. We just need to go to a country festival or Nashville. Whichever come on, whichever <laughs> one comes first, let's go. But like, I'm trying to get like, a, just a little bit more jazzy. Just a tad, like little tweaks. You do you. So, you say you do you. I got another hat, guys. Oh, okay. This is giving me like Monaco vibes, everything. This one was a bit more expensive though. This was a fiver, so this was a pound more. But I'm sorry, is this just not like Jurassic Park? <laughs> no, it's not Jurassic Park. Guys, what do we think? This is giving me like boat party. Like we're going on a lovely boat trip. I've got like a nice sarong on my beach bag. We're going off, then we're gonna like dip off in the pool and go to like a little island. And these guys, and these are good. For five and four quid, you go into the likes of River Island or New Look for Hats, you're easily looking at £18, £19 pound for a hat. Now I've got hat hair. <laughs> <laughs> Great. But as I say, this one is just a plain... I know mum will take the mick out of me for this one. She's going to say I look like Poirot or something. Who? Mum will say I look like... I'm sure it's Poirot. Is it like a spy, guys? Let me know. It's a guy in a white suit. I know mum will take the mick out of me. You know more than me. 
But I thought this was really nice because the only rattan style hats I have are in the like natural. So I thought this was quite nice. And I'm thinking like if we go on like a little pub crawl. You can wear it. I need I can't have the sun on my head because it will make me get delirious. So I keep it with my shades. Yeah. <laughs> You can't put your shades on top of your head. Oh no, I can't do that anyway. Why? So, guys, correct me if I'm wrong. If you have, so Dan has Ray-Bans, they would never ever be able to go on top of my hair because you know the thin bits that go around your nose? You know that's like a hindrance for women because them little nose things get caught in our hair. Oh, I've got the same problem. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't have like them little thin bits tell me if i'm wrong guys like you have to have like my glasses like a solid frame sunglasses because when that gets caught in your hair you know about it okay and i'd be like dan you need to cut my hair right now i wouldn't i'd sit there and untangle it all <laughs> but yeah so uh that's why the glasses were never go on top of the head well i can't put glasses on top of the head because if i put glasses out i wouldn't be able to see I feel like we're from in between us. I've lost my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be able to see. So a hat holds it off if I can't have the uh, sunglasses on. But anyway, we went on a big diversion there. Sorry. But hats. No, no. Hats. We're going to get back into them, guys. I also want to get back into my chokers. I really do miss my chokers. Okay. That's more of an autumnal thing. But I feel like I can make it work with some of the summer outfits. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because I don't always have, like, thick chokers. I have, like, some little dainty... Like, they look like crossed wire ones. Oh, I've got a whole box down there, darling, that are, like, my chokers from, like, emo stage, Shan. See, but I've never seen you wear any of it. Because it's this one, I mean, my style. Okay. We'll get back into it. Well, we do have ACDC in July. That's, oh, yeah. That's perfect I'll time, I think. <laughs> I think that's perfect timing <laughs> to maybe start getting a little bit more experimental. Okay. <gasps> it matches the hat. What? Oh my god, I didn't even think about that! Okay, yeah. we're styling this with the hat, guys. Look at this. Got one over oh, here. Me, eh? <laughs> so I picked up, this was in the beach section, but I would probably just wear it as a dress. It was £21, though, so a little bit spending, spending from Primark, but I think this is too nice to have it as a beach dress. It's not fully see through, so you do have the little um, holes in there, but it goes down. And if you had like a white boob tube bikini or just white high waisted um, knickers or anything, I think you'd be absolutely fine. And it is actually a really thick quality, like it is quite heavy. And I think, you know what? This, I was just going to pair it normally, but Dan said with the hat, I mean, this will go with either of the hats. So. Who's the winner here? Mum's just coming in as well. I'll actually get Mum's thing on the hat because I'm sure she'll say it's Poirot. She in there? Mum! We need your opinion on something. I'm going to... I'm sure it's Poirot, guys. Don't say nothing. Or she might say Michael right. Jackson. I'm in here. We're just filming, but we need your opinion. Who do I look like? Oh, maybe she wouldn't. I thought he was going to take the mick and say I look like Poirot or something. No. Oh, your hair looks alright. <laughs> she notices the hair, not the hat. Is it not like a spy? I thought there was like a spy who wore a white suit and a hat like this. Uh, uh Poirot, but he's got a moustache. Do you want me to draw one on? <laughs> okay, we, we, maybe she did call me Poirot a little bit, but... You like your hats, don't you? I do. I thought two more. <laughs> you try and get somebody not to her <laughs> I'm incognito with my hats. But yeah, I think this would be really nice, guys. So I'm going to... You know what it also feels like? Blanky. Oh, God. Guys, my blanket's hanging on by a wing and a prayer. Let me tell you this. I could just have a dress as a blanky. <laughs> would you get rid of that then? <gasps> Heaven forbid, no. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. <sighs> okay, darling. Don't listen to that blanky. Right, guys. This doesn't have ears. <gasps> blanky has feelings. Back... <laughs> <laughs> with the Paula E range. Now this I thought could be a potential great airport outfit. I'm already planning ahead. So the shorts were £8, which I didn't think was too bad from the Paula E range. I got them in a size small again and they're just like these really, I think they're cotton, like cotton jersey, but they're elasticated nautical shorts. 
you've got your pockets in the front and they're breathable probably not for when you're on the aeroplane or like england side but you could pair the top maybe with leggings then on the plane change to this so that when you get off the plane and you get waxed with the heat you're not there in a full tracksuit absolutely melting and sweatering and then the top was 11 so 19 pound for a cobalt this is a lot better than the 34 pound in terms of pricing quality i don't actually think it's bad quality as well you know me i love a crop jumper very oversized you've got the big baggy sleeves and i just think this could actually be a really good layering piece as well in spring because as i say the weather a little bit hit and miss i might even try this with the jeans on the try on and see if we can kind of rock that vibe and say so i don't know if we are going to be able to but we'll give it a go and the shorts that are ideal for just lounging around shorts as well we're going to see how it goes now right i don't actually know what i was thinking when i picked this up because i liked it when i picked it up and now i'm looking at it i'm like oh this again was in the beach section and this was 16 pound however the mannequin had it two ways so here it is it's a lovely like grecian vibe so you have it there you've got the tie around comes down very very flowy so on one mannequin they had it as a skirt and then on the other mannequin they had it as a dress I'm five foot two, five foot three, I'm quite sure. I reckon I could get away with this as a dress, and I think I would probably venture more for it if it was a dress. But we will see in the try on clips how I get on with this, whether it's a thumbs up or thumbs down, because now I'm looking at it, I'm kind of thinking, Sham, what on earth was you doing? But it's all trial and error. As I say, we are trialing guys new styles. It's all good. I did get some new scrunchies. You're probably thinking, did you need scrunchies? I got blue ones because I thought if my hair dye comes out it doesn't matter because you will see no dye because it will be all on there what is mum doing in the background i think she's sorting the kitchen out but yeah three pound for three which i didn't think was too bad i think a pound of scrunchie is quite good and i also do have a collection of scrunchies as well as the scrunchie uh, choker collection so we're just going to add more colors in so i thought you know what we'll get them because a lot of the outfits are very blue very blue indeed i did pick up a bikini of which i have oh no what have i got here did i get bikini or just the bottoms no no i've got a top i was gonna say hold on a minute oh you okay yeah. sorry about that guys mama g's having a little coughing fit um i got a top in a size small which was five pound just this pink little ribbed one but the bottoms i picked up in a small and a medium because we always know it either will stump me off like tree stump vibes or it actually doesn't cover my bum and the bottoms was four pounds so nine quid for a bikini set you will not see try on clips of these but i will put the text down below whether it's a thumbs up thumbs down tree stump vibes or actually it was a good one they have so many bikinis and swimwear at the minute it's getting a joke because i'm like i kind of need it all and saying that i got another thing from the department guys this i love you know me as i say if you've seen the jamaica and dominican vlogs i love my little like kimono play suits so i picked this up in a size small and this was seven pound and i absolutely love this like the colors of it the style so you have the little tie at the back with your aqua green little tassels but it's just a lovely flower print and as i say it goes down you've got a little knot at the front flowy down and you can put this on over your bikini if you're going down for breakfast if you're on lunch on a trip i like stuff like this i like to just be able to chuck it on and be done i did pick up two more basics that are very very completely different to what we have shown before because this is all summer and this is the winter bits i won't try these on guys because i literally have these in about four different colors now you know what these are these are the three quarter zip fleeces they are seven pound and i absolutely love these okay three quarter zip absolutely gorgeous material long sleeve i picked it up in a black and also the white because i have aqua green pink and lemon i thought i needed some basics these are great layering style pieces like when we went to iceland we had similar ones from decathlon and also if you're going to the gym they're actually a good little cover up for the gym so very very multi-purpose and the last thing my lovelies was again now from another collection the rita aura collection but this was in the beach side so it's a size small for 13 pound and oh that's the back because it's got the split it's just a little beach skirt you'll see more in the try on clip as i say whether it got a thumbs up or thumbs down but i just thought again nice to chuck on with a bikini top see how we go 
if it's good, jobs are good. And, and my lovelies, as I say, that was a very, very big haul. I need to now go try these on and you need to, well, you already would have seen the clips. We need to do the outro. <laughs> So my lovelies, you would have seen, do things get a thumbs up, thumbs down, is it a hell no, you've got to go, or is it actually you're going to stay and there's not going to be enough room for you in the wardrobe, but we'll deal with that later, we'll deal with that later. I think I have high expectations for some of these bits, whether it relates to that or not is another question, um, but yes, as I say, I'm going to go and pop these on now, and I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below, and leave me a comment. What do you think was your favourite item from the haul, or is there any type of style you'd like to see me try? Please do let me know, and if you love your hats too, let me know, as I say, because clearly there's not any hat lovers in this house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> guys, take care, stay safe as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.